Yo, what's going on? Today's video, I got an updated version of how to make a payout script. I I have no idea when I made that video, to be honest. I think I made the video like a little over six months ago, I think. Honestly, don't remember, but I know it was a while ago. But yeah, this one's gonna be a little better, as well as include G, uh, GUI. I'm not gonna include like um, I'm not gonna include a data store in the script. But if you guys want to make a data store, I have a video on my channel that I'll have linked at the end of the video so you guys can go watch that if you want to know how to make a data store but anyway let's get straight into it okay so really the first thing i guess we could do is we can insert a server script into server script service and we'll call this payout script all right we'll delete print hello world and then we will do game dot players dot player added calling connect function in parentheses put plr which is short for player then we are going to do Local leader stats equals instance dot new folder parent it to the player then do leader stats dot name is of course equal to leader stats then do local cache is equal to instance dot new number value comma then parent it to the leader stats then of course set the value to default value to zero then do cache dot name is of course cache <clears throat> and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do while true do put a wait uh we can do a wait every five seconds. See what we're going to do is we're gonna do cache dot value is equal to cache dot value plus uh ten I guess yeah we'll do like plus ten but there's more we're gonna do that's not just it. that's not just it. So we are going to go over to starter GUI and we're going to insert a starter GUI, I mean a screen GUI, sorry. And we're going to call this pay, uh, payout GUI, insert a text label. All we need is a text label. <clears throat> Bring this down here. Um, We could put a UI corner. I'm going to do a little bit of customization. This is just me. You guys do not have to do all this, but this is just me. Just make it look, look nice. You feel me? You can call this payout text label. Maybe make the background like a dark, like a dark gray, and then make the text bold and say, "You have received ten dollars." Right, which text? Scale the text. Make the text like, yeah, like a nice green, yeah, like a nice bright green, and then we can have a nice stroke. Mm, white? No, that is goddamn. That is too bright. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're both black. Yeah, black looks nice. And then we are going to actually that is it. Okay, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna say we're gonna do player. Oh, sorry. We're gonna do player wait for child. Oh, sorry, sorry. Player dot player gui wait wait for child payout GUI. We need to make sure that the GUI is loaded in case the player uh, dies because then the GUI does reset and stuff like that. So like on death. So yeah. So after wait for child we're going to do player dot player GUI dot payout GUI dot payout text label. Then we're going to tween position UDM2 dot new. So we're gonna tween the position we want it to pretty much go here, right? You guys can have it in a different direction, but this is our position, I should say, but this is where I want it to go. So I will copy this and paste this here. Then I will, of course, delete these special brackets as you should have them in parentheses. I don't know why, like, in, like, for Sergio, why the properties, they have it with special brackets, but they want you to put it with parentheses. Like, when it comes to actually scripting, I don't know why they do it like that, but yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> then we're going to do a comma. We're going to say enum.easing direction. We're going to go without since since it'll like the goal is to have it like come from out of nowhere on the left side and then it's just kind of like end right here so we're gonna have it come out then comma and the easing style of course linear all right and then we're gonna give them the 10 and then we're going to do wait two seconds so then we're going to make the um the text label go away pretty much so uh, i think negative 0 0.2 i think wait oh no no sorry we're editing the first value okay negative 0 0.2 yeah there we go okay 
So that should be able to work for you guys, depending on whatever your direction is. But that's what I'm gonna go with. So we're gonna put that. Uh, we're gonna put that out here. Negative 0 0.2. Let me delete the special bracket, and then you guys can leave the uh, the second value or the y value, I should say, by itself. And yeah, there you go. This should work. We should be good. And yeah, we'll go ahead and test this. Let's go ahead and click play. I joined. Let's wait. There we go. You have received ten dollars, and we got ten dollars, and then it goes away. Let's wait again. Got another ten. You received ten. And then if you guys wanted to have like a sound, you could also have like a sound play that like kind of like awards you the money and stuff. And of course, you guys can change the weight because I'm assuming obviously your game wouldn't pace of one every five seconds but yeah so that's gonna make a payout system very simple very easy as always the script will be in the description and um if you guys have any questions or need help of course leave comments down below in the, in the comment section or join the discord and ask link can be found in the description and yeah i'll see you guys and appreciate y'all for watching